A means to find the frequency of AC that is alternating current using sonometer. So as you can see children this is a sonometer right and this is a step down transformer. Know that what is a step down transformer it, can, it uh, lowers down the voltage that is the AC 220 volt is coming and it is stepping down to 6 volt. Right, and the sec secondary of the transformer, this is a transformer, so secondary of the transformer is being fed to the two ends of the wire. So these are the two wires, of, two wire of the uh, sonometer, right, and uh, they are, so these are the two wires, so this the, they are being put, they are being put across the two ends of the wire, right, and then, so this is a current carrying wire. So current carrying wire is placed in the magnetic field. So this is my horseshoe magnet and this wire as you can see it is placed between the So alternating current is passed. Already done in the theory, a current carrying conductor placed in magnetic field will experience a force. So now since the current is alternating, so my force will also alternate. That means my wire will oscillate. Right. So this is our main circuit and these are the two bridges. Uh, and then we have to apply the tension in the wire so as you can see that the hanger and the two slotted weights are there the hanger is of 200 grams and the 200 gram weight and each weight is also 200 gram weight so now what is the procedure like uh, we'll switch on the transformer and then as we switch on the wire and the current will vibrate now you have to adjust the length of the bridge right say that now i will uh, okay say that you first increase the length right and then you start decreasing the length such that my wire will begins to uh, begin to vibrate and children there's a resonance is taking place between the the frequency of the ac main and the current carrying wire so when the natural frequency of the my wire will match with the frequency of the AC main. So you can see that the wire is vibrating. Can you see that the wire has become blurred? You can't even see that. So you don't have to pass the current for a longer time. So I'm switching it off, right? So you saw that from, so uh, you first put it to a longer distance and then you decrease it such that your wire starts vibrating. Okay, so now when the wire vibrates, the resonance is taking place between the AC mains and the and the natural frequency of the current carrying wire. You know that any wire which is stretched has got some natural frequency. If natural frequency matches the frequency of the AC, the resonance takes place and the wire starts vibrating. So I'll just show it to you once again, right? So you can see that the wire is vibrating, right? Now Okay, so it will become blurred then you can see the amplitude is maximum now you can see that your observation table how will you record your observations so your, uh, your observations as you can see is the least count of the main scale so my scale is just a meter scale ordinary scale and its least count is 0.1 centimeter right and the mass per unit length of the wire is known so we will be needing the mass per unit length of the wire so this will children will be given to you like for this wire in our lab the mass is 2.93 gram and the length of the wire is 140 centimeter so we'll solve this so we'll be getting mass per unit length and be denoted by small m now see that children the load now ob observation so you see that load including the hanger so you can see that there are two slots are there right so the two slots means 200 each so that means my weight will be 400 gram weight right and the tension so now since i am taking it in the gram weight so what you will do while you are finding the tension you have to multiply 400 with 980 all right so that will be my tension and now L1 and L2. What is L1 and L2? L1 and L2 are the position of the bridges. Now you can see that this central point. Okay. So this central point you can see that where it is coinciding on the scale. I will mark that point. Right. And I am just removing it now. So you can see that this is 34.5. So my first position is 34.5. Right. Uh, 4.5 is my L2 
and my L1 again you can see that corresponding to the central point I'll mark this point right so if you see that this is 76 okay so my L1 is 76.0 centimeter as the least count is 0.1 so you have to write point something to one decimal place to represent the least count so my L1 is 76.0 and L2 is 34.5 so if you will subtract it that means so much you will get 0.5 that is 41.5 will be my L, right? So, this is my L. Now, if you substitute in this formula, that is my L is the resonating length in centimeter. This is resonating length in centimeter. I am taking everything in CGS, children. Okay, so this is my gram weight CGS 400 into 980. That is, you will get in dynes. And L is also in centimeter. So, I know tension. I know small m per unit length. Again, it is grams per centimeter. So, all in CGS. And L is also in CGS. So, I can find the frequency and that will give me the frequency of the AC. So, like this you can take the three observations. You can change the load. You can make your load 200 one observation and you can take the third load as 600. Repeat the same thing. That will remove the, move the bridges from outwards to inwards where the wire will vibrate. That, that will be the resonating positions you will take. So like this you have to take three observations and your answer should come out to be around 50 hertz that is the frequency of AC which we are getting in our homes.